These are the best methods to level up fast in Black Ops 6. For the game modes, you guys got two different options. If you want more of the fast paced, very hectic mode, then I would play face off. This is going to be very small maps, very quick game, so you can get in and out of them very quickly. And then you can get that match bonus XP from this. And then the game modes within this playlist that you want to play is going to be domination and kill confirmed, more so kill confirmed. Stay away from kill order and TDM. Kill order, I don't even know why that's in the game. Nobody votes for it. Nobody likes that mode. The reason you want to play kill confirmed is that whenever you get a kill, that enemy is going to drop a dog tag. You pick that up and you're going to get XP. So you get XP for the kill and picking up the tag. If your teammate dies or if you die, you can go ahead and pick up that tag. You'll also get XP for that. Whenever your teammates get kills, there's also the enemies are dropping the dog tag. So it's overall, you can get basically double XP for every kill. If you don't really like to play face off, then you can go over to just the regular quick play and play hard point or kill confirmed. More so kill confirmed for the same reason I was saying before. If you're playing hard point, make sure you capture the hard point and get kills when you're in the hard point. As you're capturing the hard point, you are going to gain score. And if you get kills in the hard point, you are going to get extra kills. What you can also do is play hardcore. If you are playing hardcore on the regular size maps, play domination or hard point and try to just spawn trap the enemies and look for the smaller maps, baby yawn, baby lion, however you say that map. That one is very good for spawn trapping. If you want to play face off, you can just tap it down here and you can get a lot of spawn traps. Just keep in mind, you might die a million times over and over. And so I will be going over a class that works perfect for that mode. Before that, make sure you do complete your daily challenges. These daily challenges are going to be on the left. It doesn't really seem like that much XP, but if you complete them all, you get a bonus 5,000, which say you have a double XP token. You can pop one of those, complete the challenges, and then you get double the amount and you can do that almost every single day. If you don't have any double XP tokens, you can look up online how to get them. There's a many, many different ways. One way that I like to do is just to go to Twitter and buy some off someone. A lot of people are on there selling them for cheap, which I actually do give away a lot of those on my stream. And so stop by my Twitch stream, WCBest, or my YouTube stream, and I will probably be giving them out. Also, complete your camel challenges. If we go over here, there's a lot of challenges in the game. The first ones are pretty tedious and annoying. It's going to be the headshots, but I still would go for the headshots. A lot of the time, it's not too difficult. You will get bonus XP for all those. Same when you complete all of these, and you get a lot of XP for completing gold, and a lot of XP if you're completing dark matter. By the way, if you're stressing about camels or simply just don't have time for them, check out my long-term sponsor, Guapsi. They will legitimately play in your account to hard unlock whatever you please. They can do the camels to the gun levels, and this goes for zombies, warzone, and multiplayer. They don't use an unlock tool, and this doesn't break 2S, so there is no risk of being banned, and no one has before. So if you want to save your time and energy, go to the top link in my description and check out guapsi.com. For the class, you're going to want to rock three of the green perks. The primary and everything else doesn't really matter, although if you do want to do the best, you should definitely subscribe to the channel and turn on noti so you get notified whenever I drop the best builds. Always got to plug a little bit in there. So for the specialty, if you rock three of the green ones, you are going to unlock the strategist combat specialty. This is going to give you a score bonus for objectives and destroying enemy equipment. See the enemy equipment through walls and deploy equipment and field upgrades faster. So as long as you're playing the objective, you're going to get a little bit of extra XP. It's not much, but it is pretty noticeable. And so if I'm just strictly trying to level up, I will always do this. Although if you're playing hardcore, sometimes you'll die repeatedly over and over, or it's kind of hard to figure out where the enemies are at. So what you could do is actually rock three of the blue ones. If you rock three of these, you're actually going to unlock the combat specialty called the recon. The recon is going, oh, I hit the wrong button. The recon is going to allow you to see the enemies through the walls for a short time after respawn. This is especially helpful on 6v6 face off. Absolutely game changer. And it's going to flash your HUD wherever there is an enemy looking at you. Just making it so you don't really die as much and you kind of know where the enemies are leading to more kills on the map. I typically use this if I'm going for like headshots because I'm not really trying to rank up. I'm just on face off trying to, you know, figure out where the enemies are hiding because a lot of time on there, you just spawn, die, spawn, die. Another thing you can do is use certain field upgrades like the assault pack. This one is going to drop ammo. You can collect it. You don't get any XP, but if your teammates collect ammo, they're going to get XP, which the trophy system will actually give you a little bit more XP because you can throw this down and there's so much nade spam that it's going to constantly be destroying nades and stuns. So then you get XP for whenever it does. So the scrambler also helps. A lot of these will actually give you XP. The best one, in my opinion, is going to be the trophy system because the spam is insane on this game. And if you're rocking it on face off, you literally throw it down instantly. It's gone, but then you got like, you know, maximum XP from that. And then I believe if you rock one of these green ones on here, the quartermaster, it's going to recharge your equipment uh, uses over time. So I guess not your field upgrades. Maybe that's the gear up one. So you can rock gearhead, which will give you two of the trophy systems. You can throw those down. You're constantly getting XP when the enemies are throwing stuns and stuff into there. That's what I typically do. You can also rock the concussion and pair that up with the tactical expert. This is going to allow you to have three stuns. So then you can completely harass the enemies. If your teammates 
to get the kills you're gonna get xp for stunning them i believe it also does that for yeah it does that for the flash and some other ones on here the one i always rock is gonna be the concussion the lethal doesn't really matter and then um you know the rest on there doesn't really matter just focus on the perks the tactical the lethal the wild card and the field upgrade lastly for the streaks you're gonna want to set this to the uav the counter uav and the harp if you're not that good at the game you can swap the harp out for whatever you want the reason you want to rock these is that it's going to give the, your teammates information whenever your teammates get kills then you're going to get xp for that so that basically kind of sums up everything whenever you help out your teammates you're going to get xp for that the methods i showed you are going to be the best ways to help your teammates and help yourself which that is going to wrap it up for this video if it was helpful make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified whenever i upload hit the notice on leave a like if this was helpful and i hope it was helpful Thank you.